So what are those things that you learned this weekend then? Precisely. So we have not uh, been able to get our car down a racetrack that is 120 degrees or so, you know. And uh, today the track was 125 first round and let the clutch out, the car sat down and took off and everything was beautiful. We were just down a little bit on power, uh, but as far as a car working uh, standpoint, we nailed it, finally. Is that more from a tire or shock standpoint? I know basically nothing about pro stock. Fuel, you could ask a lot of questions and I'll, I'll, have, I'll know most of the answers, but seriously, I mean, I look out there and I see pro stock shake and rattle and blow the tires off and sometimes miss gears and up on the clutch and but I don't know because I'm, I'm on I'm on that side of the racetrack. Right. So was it a, a tire or, or setup issue? Yeah, it's an overall complete combination between uh, ratio and the transmission. You okay. know how we set up low gear and then the tire size. Um, I don't know how you guys do your tires, but we you know we'll burn tires in that are brand new. We'll do two burnouts with the tires facing one direction. Swap them around, two burnouts, and then we carry a lot of different sets of tires of different sizes and they have different amounts of runs on them. And so whenever the track is really hot, we usually try to go with the low run tire. So today, uh, the tire only had like four passes on it. Or we usually run a high run tire that's got 16 to 20 runs on it. That is huge. It's unheard of for a fuel car to <laughs> yeah. have 16 to 20 runs on it. Like a low runner, so obviously if the, if the track is cold for us, you want a new tire or one runner. Mm -hmm. Do you get into a four or five or six runner like that, that thing has some special magic if, if you're running on a six runner tire or wow. seven runner. Um, wow, that's pretty intricate. I mean, yeah, we don't we don't swap uh, rotations back and forth yeah. for sure. It's funny that you say that too because uh, like we see kids rolling tires around through the pits all the time and kids will come up and say like, hey man, do you have any old tires that we can have? And I said, man, really we don't. You need to go talk to the fuel guys because they're the ones that go through it. We keep ours, you know, we'll have tires that have up to even 30, 30 runs on them. So for people that go to the track and you're looking for tires, so go to the fuel pits and just keep in mind cold weather is usually where we chunk tires. So if a track temp is below, let's say 70 degrees or so of that nature, like a Redding or a Charlotte or Pomona, this weekend at the Summer Nationals, like he said, it was 83 degrees outside temperature at 11 a.m. when we ran first with a 125 degree track temp. So you're not gonna see too many chunk tires there. Um, do you have any fuel questions? Yeah, uh, especially like what do you do, like what's your pre-race uh, game plan, you know, like say, you know, it's round one's coming up in an hour, so what do you have going on? Well, from the moment I hit the track, I bring all my fuel stuff out, which is uh, taking the lock off of the 55 gallon drum, filling it up, mixing the fuel, so we run anywhere from 88% to 89.5, 89.9% uh, nitromethane. I'll mix that up, and that's a little bit of a you know, scientific formula and, you, and fuel up the car, warm it up. We warm up with seven gallons of fuel, seven to eight, and our run takes about 16 gallons. Oh, wow. So a full drum, which comes at 50, well, it comes at 40, but it's a 50 gallon drum, lasts you only a couple runs. So that is a constant rotation, and you're only allowed one drum in the pit at a time uh, okay. for EPA regulation. Yeah. So I get my fuel ready, put my stuff in the tow vehicle. Um, DSR, we have this awesome thing where we do driver introductions for the fans and the hospitality. Get on the mic, speak, sign some autographs, warm up the car, fuel fuel the car back up, and um, you know between rounds pack the parachutes. But when I get in the car, I've got some special playlists in the tow vehicle that I go to, and uh, and I put one glove on in front of the other one. I shadow box a little bit, and then when I get out, I fist pump all my guys one at a time. And I tell you what. That, well, see, you can even see it right here. This knuckle right here has been permanently <laughs> bruised for like the last three years because you just punch a lot. So if you, uh, if you, if we get done with the day and you've got some gnarly knuckles, that means that we've had a good day. Yeah, yeah. Looks like you work on the car too. Show them your hands. Well, that is, <laughs> I don't know what they call that, a French manicure. It's like a nitro manicure right there. That's I, awesome. I think between, um, Last, this is a product of last week, and I raced with Lagana Racing and Epping uh, with Fire Aid to be able to help keep my points up. I was 10th, I'm not sure what I am now, and that's a part-time team, and uh, we ran on Monday, and half their team had to go to work because they have normal jobs, and so all weekend long I was doing the clutch, and Monday was a pretty tough, awesome day, and just 
and I don't care. I mean, I'll go and trim them up somewhere else and for the dinners and all the stuff that goes to make the money. But this is what yes. this is what I love. Yes. Don't you love being yep. out here, being in the knit and grit? Absolutely. And let me see your hands. Come on. They're not as bad. <laughs> Look, that is bold. Wow, guess what you got? You need to invest in this. Give me your oh nail guy. Gosh. You're your nail lady. Oh, man. Look at you. You're all red. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to ask. I looked down. I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, <sighs>